guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cassie. If you're new here, thanks for joining me. Today we have a closet clean out and thrift store finds video. We're gonna jump into that in just a minute. It's just me and Susie girl hanging today. Susie. Hi, bubbies. We're gonna go upstairs. I do have a few things I found, like I said, at thrift and secondhand stores yesterday, which I'm really pleased about. So whenever I buy new things, I like to kind of get rid of some things I already have. So I'm gonna clean out the closet today and do just that. But first, I need to put away all of these clothes right here. So let me get to doing that and drinking some coffee while I do it. And then we're gonna head into the closet clean that out and show you what I bought at the thrift store. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rockin' if I can't stop. If I should fall, just go ahead. Go and catch me, baby. Okay, so we're going to start the closet clean out. So this is my closet. I'm going to bring out some items and show you guys and kind of decide right here as I can look at the mirror in front of me if I want to keep these items because I know there are things in here that I don't wear. We're going to start with dresses. Dress number one. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting rid of this. Sequin sparkly things all over it and it's black and gray. I love this dress, so this is definitely a keeper. Okay, this dress I am getting rid of because unfortunately it's see-through, so it's this little black dress that has stars all over it, but I can't wear it to work and I can't wear it anywhere because it's see-through, so it's gotta go. This dress is very special to me, and I wore this the night we got engaged. We got engaged at the beach, and I was wearing this, and so I am keeping this dress. Okay, this dress has got to go. My days of wearing things that are this small are over and <laughs> I don't want to wear this anymore. This one I wear quite often. It's from a brand I've never heard of before and I think I bought it secondhand, but it's basically like a bodycon dress that's a little bit longer. Sometimes I can even wear this to work and it's like a hunter green, so I'm gonna keep that. I bought this jacket. It's kind of like a trenchish kind of jacket second hand and it it's just a little bulky for me it's kind of cute but I've actually never worn it and I don't think I will so I'm going to give that away this one the color is just not good for me it's it's just not good this is something I bought recently I don't really know why it's like a light linen material yellow jacket so I am going to keep this because if I ever do need to wear something a little bit more formal to work or whatever, this is a good option. So I'll keep both of these. Okay, now here's something to learn for all you people out there. I had to go to a wedding and I needed a dress. I thought I needed a dress. So I went to BB and bought this dress, which is really pretty. It's like a really pretty dress. This dress was like $150, which for me, that's a lot. I've worn it once to that wedding. It's kind of annoying to wear because I'm used to like super comfy things as you can tell and I don't know but I think I'm going to keep it because I could wear it somewhere else and I just feel bad getting rid of it because I've only worn it once. I like pants but they have to be comfortable. I do not like jeans really. I do own a couple pairs of jeans but they're not really my thing so most of the pants I own are very stretchy and they're very comfortable. These pants are from Calvin Klein, and they're like kind of a jegging material, so they're brown. Would I wear these? My other colorful pair of pants are these maroon pants. I'm, I'm trusting my gut and giving them away. Jeans are not my fave, but these two pairs of jeans are really comfortable. These are Ashley Mason jeans, and they have little rips at the knees and they're skinny. They fit like, because I'm pretty tall, I'm 5'11", um, they fit right above my ankle. So those are really cute. I can wear them with boots or flats or whatever. So I'm gonna keep these. Okay, I have one winter jacket, which I'm not getting rid of. It is a Michael Kors winter jacket. It's lined on the inside with this like almost velour. It has really hardcore, like you can hear this belt that goes around here 
The back is super cute with the belt and it has a little hood. So this is my one winter jacket and I'm definitely keeping this. Okay, this is a shirt that's like a dress shirt from Vera Wang. Really cute, but I don't like dress shirts. It's just not my thing. It makes me feel too busy. I don't really enjoy that. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Same with this one. This is Pelion. Okay, love this. Bought this second hand. It's a super like stretchy denim shirt and it's really cute. I can wear this with pretty much anything, so I'm definitely keeping that. I also bought this second hand. It's a little gray shirt and it has these cool like chains around the neck. And so I definitely have to wear something underneath it, but it's really cute. Let me keep that. And then I have this little tee, like crop tee that is olive green I'm gonna keep that as well next we're gonna move on to the black section of my closet so I have this James Pierce that I bought secondhand uh, v-neck tank top it's very long I like that one a lot so I'm gonna keep that I have this built-in bra cami which I wear under stuff I'm gonna keep that this is from it's from Urban Outfitters I don't know but it's a stretchy um bodysuit and it's like sparkly so that's really cute all right we're gonna get into the sweaters which I have a lot of this is one of my favorite sweaters because it has these cute sleeves to it I feel like I'm talking so fast I need to take a breather I need some coffee I don't know why I'm rushing myself this has seen its days and I'm not really one to wear stuff that has words on it so this is from Forever 21. It says meow. <laughs> More gray and black, people. That's just how I roll. This is a really cute sweater from Volcom. I bought this, like, I think last year. It kind of has, like, balloony type sleeves, and it's knit, and it's super warm, so I'm going to keep that. These, I have two colors. I have the black, and I have the gray, and they're, like, little cardigans that you could wear with pants and stuff, but... I don't ever wear them anymore. I used to wear them a lot, so I am going to give them away, but they were really good to me while I had them. I think I got them at Nordstrom Rack. Chooch, where are you? She like came in here and saw this giant pile of clothes and is like, what's going on? Which are so cute. We know, we know, we know. I have, this is my only pair of shorts. And um, I guess I'll keep them because it's my only pair of shorts, but they're honestly too short. This is like a long wrapish type skirt. It's pretty comfortable. It has like a little thing. Mm, losing adjectives, people. I am losing adjectives. And this is the only longer skirt I have, which is a black and white um, skirt with a slit down the side. So I am going to keep that as well. Okay guys, so that is it for what's currently in my closet. Now, ooh, ooh, there's a lot happening in here. Now I'm going to take you over here to what I purchased at the thrift store yesterday, and we'll get into that. Okay, so let's talk about what I just thrifted yesterday. So the first thing I got was from Goodwill, and it's just this gray skirt that's like mid-length, and I can wear this to work, which I'm really excited about. It's super soft, and it was a dog. Okay, this was also a dollar, and it is a gray v-neck, super soft, kind of longer, just flowy t-shirt, and I love stuff like this. It's super comfortable. Let's just move this over here. These I can wear to work, and I kind of need something like that. So these are by Chico's, and they're like gray slacks. You can't really tell, but... Um, the ankle's really cute because when you wear it, it doesn't like suck to your ankle. It kind of comes off your ankle, if that makes sense. So they look like dress pants, but they're actually like stretchy jegging type material, but they're gray. I got two of these from Free People, which is normally very expensive. And they're like these long knit long sleeve shirts that are kind of like that Henley style. They're a little bit shorter in the front and longer in the back so I thought these would be really cute for winter time I got that in a gray and also in a off-white cream kind of color 
So those are super cute and I'm looking forward to wearing those. Very soft. And that's another thing, when you buy clothes that are secondhand from other people, they're normally been washed, well, hopefully, um, quite a few times in their life and so they're really soft. This is by a brand called Young, Fabulous, and Broke. <laughs> and it's like a longer sleeve, kind of like this that I'm wearing. Short sleeve, gray shirt as well that you can wear with leggings. And it's like a square bottom, which I like. So I got that. And then the last thing I got is what I'm wearing right now. So this is an interesting shirt. It has like a long slit down the side. What's the brand? Okay, I don't know this brand. It's a high neck, which I like because I think that looks really classic for a square body t-shirt like this. And it has the slit down the side. It's longer in the back, you can see, but still square. So I think it's really cute. And yeah. So thank you for joining me for my closet clean out and thrift store finds. To give you an idea, I got all of these clothes for under... Well, like literally $101, so slightly more than $100, but not bad for all these pieces. And these are brands and clothing items that I know I will wear for a long time because unlike what I, you know, have just shown you with my closet, my style has become a lot more similar to the type of things that I like. And when I buy things, I try to think of those styles. So I am doing better with that and I hope I won't be doing as many closet cleanouts because I will actually wear all the stuff that is in my closet. So thanks for joining me. I'm gonna take a nap now because that really wore me out and just stop talking for a while. Okay, be well, see you soon.